Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. Ashley within broadcast, joining me is Raymond of Gate Sayre. Hello, good to see you. Good to see you too, so, again. Yes, again. Yeah. So tell me, where does Gate Sayre fit in right now in the media and broadcasting world? Well, mostly it's in the traditional uh, over the air uh, marketplace, our customers radio, TV, uh, digital audio broadcasts in Europe and elsewhere. And then we are also have a segment of how a station brings content into the distribution device. In our case, it's a transmitter. So that's primarily our, our product lines that we are focusing on. And what trends are you seeing as far as your technology in the media and broadcasting market? And how have you kind of adapted with that for the sure. future? Um, you know, there's new technologies, there's HD radio, there's um, potentially 5G broadcast that people are looking at. So we're, we're ensuring that any new trend can be integrated into an existing transmitter or a new one. We'd rather have a new one, but, you know, for people who have bought and put faith in us to keep them within the realm of new, uh, we make sure that their capital investment they've made with us is insured, if you will, against the new technologies that might be coming out. Absolutely. And what are you currently highlighting here at NAB? Well, obviously some new products. Um, we're working on a more cost-effective uh, FM line from the low-power broadcaster. As you know, the radio economy is, is not as robust as it used to be, so we're trying to meet the need of the broadcaster who's struggling with making his business grow, right? So uh, we have a bunch of new lines. And in terms of uh, broadcast um, distribution, we've, we're coming out with some new things. Uh, there's a trend where satellite is being replaced because of the regulatory issues and licenses. So we've come up with an IP delivery that will enable local ad insertions. So that's something, a new feature that our existing FM customer base doesn't have today. A way to monetize, a way to dis dis uh, differentiate uh, they're offering in the market. Hey, can you tell me a little more about your latest developments and who you're targeting with your prospective use cases? Sure. Um, in terms of a cost-effective FM line, you know, we are a global company. Uh, so uh, in the rest of the world, in the low-power FM rest of the world, they don't want to pay for the HD-ready type boxes. So we've come up with a more cost-effective line to compete against the disposable market. Uh, so we can bring gates air quality at a very cost-effective price. That's kind of what it is on, on the TV side. You know, we do have a full line of TV transmitters. And so we're looking at uh, packaging what we have into new ways to allow new applications. For example, we're doing a very large uh, rollout where the Brazilian government is trying to digitize some of the small markets that they have. So we've come up with a, a very unique eight transmitters in a box that can be put into the bottom of a antenna pole uh, to give them very cost effective uh, coverage for areas that haven't been covered before in digital television. Very nice. Yeah, it's so very fun. What would you say is next for Gates Air? What's the future of Gates Air? You know, we continue to look at the 5G broadcast, which is, you know, kind of the holy grail that broadcasters are looking for. Um, in terms of mobile native reception. Um, you know, ATS, ATSC 3, the new modulation, uh, can't be decoded without a special dongle. And so broadcasters are looking to tap into that mobile market. Uh, one, of the th uh, one of the benefits of 5G is that uh, it overlays on the 5G cellular network and can be natively uh, received in any standard cell phone, which is kind of the holy grail that broadcasters looking for, and I would say that's a global uh, opportunity. You know, India is looking at how, how do they get broadcast to mobile devices in a country of billion plus people, and so they're reviewing uh, 5G as an opportunity to do that. So we're making sure that our products, if and when that technology is, is released and ready for prime time, that our customer will be ready to uh, switch, put, turn the switch on. Good. Well, uh, for those that want to know more, please check out their website. And thank you so much for speaking with us today. Very good. Thank yeah, you very much. Thank you.